Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to do sodium silicate and eggs. I purchased this online. It's from Humco. What I did was I took water and added water to the container I was going to use using a quart jar to figure out how much liquid I wanted to contain with the displacement of the eggs. And in this jar, I figured it would be two quarts of liquid. So then, as you know, a quart is four cups. This is a quart. So I'm needing two quarts in here. I determined I need two cups of the sodium silicate to a quart and a half of water. So let's put it in. I've already put in, because of course I forgot to videotape. I put the eggs in, and I tried to point them up if I could. And I pour in, I'm using a third a cup here, because I'm going to throw this away. Sodium silicate is um, liquid glass. Be very careful, wear gloves. And let me read you real quick before I go further, the things you have to worry about with this. Because I think it's important before you do this that you know. If it gets on your skin, you have to wash with cool water for 15 minutes and then seek immediate medical attention. If you get it in your eyes, 15 minutes holding eyelids apart and get medical tension immediately. If you ingest it, you need to uh, give several glasses of milk and induce vomiting and then get to the hospital immediately. If inhaled, remove to fresh air immediately and obtain emergency medical attention. So it's very dangerous. Wear your gloves. If you're going to be close to your working surface, put an air mask on your face. All right, so I've already put four third cups in here, so I have two more to go. And I will be throwing this away, or I'll bag it up just for this purpose, and I'll put on there sodium silicate only. So I used an old one that I don't have any matching measuring cups for. Now I'm going to add a quart and a half of water. And there we go. You don't have to have an airproof cap. You just need to make sure the eggs are in the liquid. So, and that's all you do is you cover them with it. And what we're going to do is probably once a month to begin with, we're going to pull an egg out and see what it looks like compared to a new egg. Now, I don't have homegrown eggs, so I'm using store-bought eggs, which I think is a better example for a lot of us because we can do this now. We can buy our store-bought eggs, store them up, and if SHTF happens, we at least have wet eggs we've stored if we can't get to the store and get any more or if we can't come across a chicken right away. It doesn't put you in any emergency situation. So this is January. Tomorrow will be January 1st. That's why I'm doing this now so that I'll know January 1st is when I started and then every month afterwards we'll test the eggs and see how well they do in this. I'll put a link below on where you can purchase this if you're inclined, and the reason I got this rather than the big gallon is the big gallon is already mixed. This is not. So it takes up less room in my storage because then I mix it with water afterwards. I wish you all a happy new year. Be safe, be joyous, and I hope all your wishes and dreams come true next year. Blessings.